Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. We have a cold front heading into the state of Florida. This is called a backdoor cold front in that it comes through our back door as opposed to coming in through the front door, which normally would be to the, uh, to the north and to the uh, west. That's normally where you see a cold front move from and to. It comes in through the panhandle. It exits at Miami normally. This time it's going to come in from Jacksonville and exit through Key West. So it comes in in a different direction. Those are normally weak fronts, and if you look at the temperature scales across the state, you can't really tell where that front is. Normally with a cold front, you see some cold air back behind it. Well, there's not a lot of cold air behind this one, but there is some drier air. Right now it's actually located just about uh, through Daytona Beach, thinking up through Gainesville and then back toward Tallahassee. But still, it's 64 in Jacksonville and 66 in Tampa, so you know, not a big difference. Currently, air temperatures are generally hovering in the low 60s most everywhere in inland areas and the upper 60s as you get closer to the coast. We have dew point values that have risen a bit as well over the last several days. Now at 60 with an air temperature of 60. Calm winds out there. We have kind of a mix of uh, clouds and clear sky, depending on where you are. 100% relative humidity, slight chance at a little bit of patchy fog. Though the cloud cover is really going to keep that chance of mist or haze or fog down to a very small minimum. Plus, it's not coming. Winds are not coming in out of the west like they were yesterday morning. We've got some cloud cover over on the other coast. In fact, under that cloud cover, which is pretty well defined in a line. Now, that's our frontal boundary. Behind those clouds on our, uh, <clears throat> on our radar are some pretty good storms out there in Atlantic waters. Clouds really not across our region. We had some during the overnight. They've kind of retreated just a little bit currently in the wake of the descending air around some of these stronger storms on the east coast. But there are some pretty good storms out here. And in fact, there's some pretty good lightning pops over the course of the last hour associated with some of those storms, although mostly in the last half hour. I don't think we have a big chance of seeing thunderstorms around here. If you're looking for thunderstorms, you probably have to go into the southern tip of the state later this afternoon to find those. There is a marginal risk, a uh, slight risk rather, for some severe weather in the very southern tip of the state. Not much around here. Everything's pretty quiet. Uh, yet, we still have a good chance of seeing a few scattered showers a little bit later in the day. Airport hubs all look good if you're traveling. And as I mentioned, down in the very tip of the state, a marginal risk for some severe weather. And that would be mostly in the form of some gusty winds and small hail. I don't think we're going to see any tornadoes across the state of Florida today. But we have that 30% chance of a sprinkle or a shower, maybe an isolated thunderstorm later in the afternoon into the evening hours. Clearing tomorrow could be coming breezy, and the weekend so far looks great.